Hello. Okay. So hopefully y'all can see my head. <laughs> All right. So I want to chat with y'all about the next step of um, getting our artwork ready, our radial symmetrical design to actually do the batik. And so the best thing that would work for you at your home would be like a really big piece of cardboard, like from a cardboard box that you can break down. Um, or if your parents have any like pieces of wood or anything like that, that's gonna be hard. Um, you could also do this on a table if your parents are okay with it. But if you do it on a table, absolutely make sure you put down some, like a tablecloth um, or some, maybe like a, a grocery, or not a grocery bag, a garbage bag, maybe you could cut open and put it over the table because we are gonna be painting on this and I really don't want any like furniture to get ruined or anything like that. Um, if this is something that you're concerned about, I do have extra of these boards and your parents are more than, they're welcome to come pick one up at school, just let me know, okay? And actually, I don't think I sent, did I send paint home with y'all for this project? I can't remember. So um, I'll probably need y'all to have your parents come make one more stop by school so I can give you some paint and then you might as well pick up the boards too. So I'll send an email along with that. Anyway, once you have that, the best thing that you're gonna do is if your image is completely done and you've traced the whole thing, you're gonna go ahead and put that on your piece of wood um, and then use some tape to tape down the corners. Try not to cover up your design, but if you cover up a little bit of it, it's not a big deal. And you wanna have it nice and flat. And then you're also going to need some saran wrap. Um, wax paper will work too, but saran wrap is the best. Um, and pretty much every kitchen has saran wrap in it, right? So you're going to need to break a couple or cut a couple pieces of saran wrap because we need to completely cover our piece of paper. You don't want any spots where the paper is showing through and isn't covered in the saran wrap. And I'll explain why we're doing this, you know, at, during the next step during class, but this is a pretty important step. And so what I usually do, and don't be afraid to use lots of tape, but what I usually do is get one side of it kind of covered. You know, and then pull it down. And like this is two pieces of saran wrap. So in the middle, I made sure that they're overlapping each other. You probably can't see too well, but they're overlapping and I kind of smush them together so it's nice and um, strong where they're overlapping. And you wanna to try to get this nice and, you know, as flat as you can. It's gonna have some ripples and stuff in it. It's not a big deal, but. Anywhere that it's not covered, like right over here, it's not covered. Make sure you pull it so it does cover that space. So paper first and then plastic. And then you're gonna finish it by putting your um, bandana, that big white piece of fabric over top of it. Again, before you put the fabric on top, make sure that they're, all of it's covered with plastic. <clears throat> Because your bandana was folded, there's like a center where there's a crease. Find that, line that up with the center of your design. Doesn't have to be perfect, but get that lined up as well as you can. And then go ahead and tape this down too. And again, don't be afraid to use lots of tape. Because once that we have this taped down and we get started on our design, we really wanna make sure that it's really secure and isn't moving around. So um, clear tape, like scotch tape will work, but masking tape is best if you have masking tape at home. Um, but you could really use any kind of tape as long as it's strong enough to hold it in place. Okay, so the these are the steps that you need to do. Like I said, I'm gonna send an email, have you come pick up your boards and some paint 
um, for the next step. So, bye.